it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com and I have another Casual Fridays video for you today. Every year I make at least one pink snowflake card. I don't know what it is about pink snowflakes and usually they have to be glittered, but I absolutely love them. So I have already made one pink snowflake card and you'll find that in a very trendy holiday 2.0, our online class to get you inspired and creating awesome cards this holiday season. I think I'm ready to make another one. How about... Snowflake Splendor by Casual Fridays. Um, it doesn't have individual little snowflakes on here, but it has a tree made out of snowflakes. Not just one, but two. So I think I'm inspired. Pink snowflake tree, how about it? So the things that I do know are the stamps that I'm gonna use. <laughs> <laughs> That's my phone, sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to use these little tag dies by Casual Fridays, which I absolutely love, and some various shades of pink ink. I'm going to ink the tree so that we have a gradient pink going on. And we'll do the pink pirouette by Stampin' Up first. That's my lightest pink that I have. And then next is the Hero Arts Bubblegum. And then my favorite things this is Razzleberry. I have some embossing powder here, clear sparkle embossing glitter. It's clear with um, uh, it's clear embossing powder with glitter in it. I'm not sure how wet this is going to stay and how long, so I have it poised and ready, and we'll see how much embossing powder sticks to it. And yeah, it did stick, so awesome. I'm going to stamp Silent Night in my darkest pink. And then I'm going to take the medium pink, which is the bubblegum shadow ink, and I'm going to sponge this tag. I don't have to worry about getting in the center because I'll have that circle popped up on top of this. So now my tag is all ready, and my plan was to use this snowflake Christmas tree, something like this, but now that it's coming together, I'm not digging that. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna ink the snowflakes in the same way I did the first time with the gradient color ombre effect. And then I'm gonna ink them again. that gave a pretty cool effect so I'm just gonna cut the end off here and then we'll add it to the card front and I'm thinking some silver sparkly glitter maybe some stripes down the side I'm not sure I'm gonna think about that for a minute and <laughs> we'll go from there I want some single snowflake stamped on this tag and this set doesn't come with any except for this little teensy weensy little one so I'm taking the Noel and I just use some washi tape to mask off part of the stamp so that I can just get that snowflake. And then I'll take the tiny little one and do a couple of those. I wanted two silver strips along the edge, so the easiest way I thought to do that was to take some sticky strip. This is great adhesive for like putting boxes together and things that really need super duper sticky uh, adhesive. And also you can uh, just throw embossing powder on it and get embossed strips, which is really cool. You can do this other ways. You can take some masking paper and mask off the area and then use your Versamark ink pad to dab on a line, um, which I just did in a video the other day for Stamp Nation. I'm gonna grab the Metallic Platinum Sparkle Embossing Powder by WOW. I used this quite a bit in the Very Trendy Holiday class. It's a great embossing powder. Look at that silver sparkle. And it sticks right to that adhesive. Top off the excess and we'll just heat this. You could have also used just silver glitter if you had that and you didn't have or didn't want to use embossing powder. That would work also. A little silver ribbon, some clear sparkling sequins, 
and we're all done with today's card pink snowflakes i love them be sure to head over to my blog hop on my newsletter list you will get the top 10 ever top 10 things every stamper needs to know video series and other tutorials that i only share in newsletters so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you love pink snowflakes too have a great day